okay we are now going to create this skylight here i'm going to level two and then what i'm going to do first i'm going to go to vertical opening and i'm going to use um to pick this roof first and i'm going to use a rectangular method to create this one what i'm going to do is to start somewhere that i think is appropriate and maybe finish it somewhere here I will make it just 120. I do not really know if this works perfectly. And yeah, I think that's okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually select all of it and bring it somehow, somehow in the middle. And that is it. Now we have this lock here, which looks like an opening. And now what we are going to do is to go back to level two and go back to, to roof. And then what I'm going to do is to go on place the roof here. And this one is going to be made a grazed. I do not really have to make it right now. What I'm going to do is to go over this. First of all, I'm going to elevate this one at, um, I'm, I'm actually going to put an angle. Let me go there and select this one and define slope then i'm going to put five degree and hit okay in that case it takes the same um, angle as the the bigger roof now i'm going to put an offset like um how many centimeters like 10 centimeters above the 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 bigger roof and now what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to go to roof and then go to fascia then i'm going to place the fascia on this side here to close it okay and now after that i select this one and what i'm going to do i'm going to make it a sloped grazing right here now i'm going to go to the top and from the top i'm going to go to architecture and then go to cotton grids and first of all i plus one grid in the middle and others just 120 of spacing okay not just 40 i can even plus them and then I will readjust them after. It's actually no problem. Okay. Now I pick this one here. It's 120. No problem. Here is 130. I'm putting 120. And here it is same. Here, what is it? This is 120. And finally, this one. It has to be. 120 I don't really care the last one can be whatever and now after that what we can do is to go to mullions and then we go to all grids and then we create the mullions like this it's simple and straight forward okay let's now create this parking garage here Let's go to level one floor and then we start by creating this column system. We are going to go to columns and then we pick, first of all, we pick um, the column that we are going to actually use. So the first one is going to be a timber and we change into height and uh, it has to be vertical there is actually no problem and what we are going to do we are actually going to place 
columns in these positions and the very first thing we are going to do first is to go to this thumbnail and then we look for the heights because the heights are not going to be similar first of all we select them and we put it at minus 30 base offset minus 30 and it automatically touches the ground now i think i will need to also change the height of it i'll go to the top offset and i will do minus 110 and here we go i think this is too long let me put 80 minus 80 like a top offset that is it and now when we go to level one flow you can now copy and paste the already set types of um i forgot to actually copy multiple and this is what we are doing now okay snap in the corners as simple as that it's straight forward you can possibly copy multiple you can for instance take all these columns for that one this one and this one and then copy them and you pick this corner place it on this corner and they will be placed correctly inside but this one have to has to be readjusted let me pick this corner here this edge here to that edge and this is what we now have okay let's go to thumbnail we see that we start to create a kind of shading shading in this and now we are going to add these bigger bigger columns okay let's now go ahead and create these types of columns let's go to level one again and what i would simply do is to take this copy and then i'll make um three copies of it i'm going to take this one place it in here and the other one is i'm going to actually put it a little bit below because i don't want it to have a conflict with the these ones i can even remove that one i don't really need it right now and here we we go okay so we need to put another column on the other side here this same column is going to be placed on the other side there let me copy this one and i'm going to place it on the other side here what i will automatically do is to take these walls and then stretch them a little bit back so that they don't have any conflict with these columns okay so i'm going to 3d and this is now what we have okay now let's cover this parking go to level two and then what we are going to do we are going to go to architecture and then go to roof and what we'll do is very simple just make a rectangular tool here and and um place a rectangle on this side here like this and um yeah finish this one let's go to two 3d and see what we have actually done so this one is going to be at minus minus 110 something like that i think we will need to reduce all these columns here yeah, right click and in the entire and then this one I'm, I, I must put it on minus 110 or something like 110 okay let's finish this tutorial with uh, an exercise what you are going to do you are going to create a roof fascia like this one here 
and you also add this skylight using the same procedure as we used in the previous skylight here then i'll be back uh, and we solve together this exercise so the second thing that we are going to do is to first of all go to vertical opening and then i will go i pick this roof here and i might even do it in a 3d but uh, i'm going to actually do it in 2d and now i will use a rectangular method and i will place a kind of opening on this side here 120 and hit ok and preview in the 3d to see what we have already done this is it and um yeah now what we are going to do I'm going to go to level one again or level two and then what we are going to do we are going to pick the roof again and pick a rectangular method and i'm going to pick this edge here all the way to this edge and click ok and this one i'm going to automatically change it to into a sloped grazing but maybe yeah sloped grazing no problem and then um let's go to the preview here i would like to bring this back to something like 100 uh, 110 okay minus and uh yes here we go now let's go on the top and what are we going to actually do is to go to cut and grid uh, i mean cut and grid and i will place one here and i'll place another one in here i'm going to use 100 120 like the previous one place one here another one here i'm going to edit the distances this one has to be 120 we'll be back a little bit and this one is going to also be 120 and this one becomes 100 there's actually no problem and that's it now what we are going to do is go to, to millions and then to all grids and then we place the millions like that and now we have our skylight